all the time. Yeah. All right, all right. All, all the time. He's our, he's our Twitter friend. Our yes. twin. Fashion is gossip and celebrity entertainment and entertaining people, right, PG? Yes, I love to entertain. How long have you been uh, <laughs> going towards this goal of uh, doing entertainment gossip? About 30 years. Well, the gossip for about 10 years now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But right. Nice. Because yeah. that's, the, that's what has happened in the past 10 years or so. The tabloid gossip and mm -hmm. stuff has just it's mm -hmm. gone crazy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so PT wrote us a letter. He did write us a letter. Can I read it? Sure. Chelsea? All right. It says, Dear Kid Craddock Morning Show, my dream is to work as a radio personality. That's what we do. <laughs> right. What a good day. I have entertained people for over 30 years on stage, and while on stage, I always talk about what's going on with celebrities and current events. And a few years back, I auditioned for co-host for a day on Dish Nation. That's what I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my video was even shown on the show. Mm -hmm. Plus, I received two tweets from Kid Craddock. Sure did. Even though I didn't win, those tweets from him have inspired me to continue pursuing my dream of being on radio. I believe my life is a movie. Tell At this moment, only the Kid Craddock Morning Show is the director. And I am waiting on the director to allow me to play the part. No extras. Just me, All right. the star, Peachy. <laughs> Please make my dream become a reality by letting me sit behind the mic. Showtime. PT. That's from PT. And All guess right. what? PT's in studio now. Yeah. yeah. To everybody, I'm PT, and welcome to Terrible Tuesday in the Neighborhood. Oh, yes, baby. This is called PT Showbiz Top 5. I go from 5, and I work my way down to number 1. Oh, yeah, don't play with me today, baby. This is called PT's Punch. Oh, yeah, I'm a puncher to you today, baby. Oh, let's tune in and get the tea. Sit your ass way down somewhere, honey. <laughs> There's no tea over here. This is called PT's Punch. Let me see how it tastes today. Mmm. I'm almost drunken all up. Shit. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. It's really good, y'all. I do make the PT's punch. Let's get right to it. Before I go, before I go any further, I want to remind you guys that please, whatever you do, Lunell, my friend. Matter of fact, there's her shirt right there. Lunell's going to be in the ATL coming up real soon. You need to go to heylunell.com so you can find out when she's going to be there. Go by there and say, hey, Lunell, PT told me to come out and see you. But you don't get in free. You don't get no kisses and no hugs, okay? <laughs> and then she's also going to be in Vegas, okay? She got a residency in Vegas. I got this. Go check her out, okay? Tell her, tell her PT said, y'all right. All right. Show me top five, number five. I'm going to talk about the Housewives of Atlanta reunion. I'm so sick of them. Show me top five, number four. Boothie. We gotta pray for a little booty, y'all. Show this top five, number three. The Best of Enemies, the movie I was talking about. I got more scoop on this movie. We can't wait until it comes out. Of course, show this top five, number two. Terrence Howard. We gotta pray for him. Oh, Lord Jesus. And of course, show this top five, number one. The way Ray signed his gay and he's 11 years old and a lot of people are mad about it. But let me get my dance on. All right, let's go. Kill me, child. No, ma'am. Hi, y'all. All right, all right, all right. That's enough of that. Y'all are not going to kill me, child. No way, honey. <laughs> all right, let's get right to this mess. Let's talk about the Housewives of Atlanta reunion. Now, I did see it the other night. I said, well, I'm going to talk about it in a little while, but I'm not really. Let me tell y'all something. I'm just not as big. It's maybe as I should be on Housewives of Atlanta because to me it's like we all know it's for TV. We know it's all for show, and I think I've just had enough of it. But since they had the reunion, I must talk about it. First of all, we already know Nene's going to be back and she's going to get a raise. <laughs> but there's a few girls who, a few girls who who won't be back, 
and there's maybe a few a new girl who might be getting the peach. And I'm talking about Marlo, who I can't. She just reminds me of a dude. I'm sorry. She just she she reminds me of a dude. Y'all be talking about Wendy look like a man. She look more like a man and sound more like a man than, well, to me, Wendy does not sound or look like a man. How you doing? <laughs> That's just my opinion. Anyway, Marlo may finally get her peach. I guess they finally, you know, let this settle down when she had called somebody the F word. Mm-hmm. F-A-G. Fag. Uh-huh. And, you know, it's, it ain't nothing but the gays that's running the house. <laughs> Why never letting the main one? Uh, we already know who that is. <laughs> I ain't got to say his name. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, Nene called Portia fat. How are you going to call her fat? She's She was pregnant at the time. Oh, God. Anyway. <laughs> so, well, Portia about to, she probably mad because Portia about to get her own runoff show anyway. <laughs> Spinoff show anyway. Yeah, y'all didn't know about that. Y'all told y'all that the other week. You need to write down, honey. Write down the things that I tell you so you won't forget. Yes. Portia and her old man, they about to, get, they about to do a spinoff with the baby. In the words of Tamla Man, don't forget the baby. <laughs> so, so uh, we'll see what happens, y'all. Uh, oh, well, well, let's see. Let's see. Well, Portia, Portia will be back, but she'll have a spinoff show. Cynthia, they saying it's up in the air. I like Cynthia. I do. I like Cynthia. Um, they saying that Phaedra may come back. I love me some Phaedra. I don't know. Well, and, well listen, the drama continues about the housewives of Atlanta. Make sure you watch. Okay, let's move on. Let's talk about little black ass Boosie. We're going to have to pray for him, child, because I don't understand why this man just seem to stay out of trouble. Little Boosie, I'm talking about. But well, here's the latest. <laughs> Lil Boosie was riding down the road, child. Him and his former NFL football player. And I do mean former. Riding down the road, honey, high as a kite, allegedly. Swerving from uh, shoulder to shoulder. Almost hit other cars. And they stopped him, honey. And he had guns. and, and uh, Well, a gun. But they charged him for gun possession and, and, and weed. They talk about drugs. We already know. They say the car would just... Smell just straight up like weed. <laughs> now, Boosie, you are too old for that. You need to get your ass somewhere and sit down. Like, you know, it come a time in your life where you just, you know, what did they say about when I was a child? I did childish things, and when I got old, I, you know, come on now. It's, it's okay to smoke weed, but you don't have to get caught, and you run around with guns. Oh, my God. I think Boosie just got into it. Didn't he just go through this health scare or something, I believe, not too long ago? Child, the Lord bring you out a bunch and you just want to go right back in, 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 the, in the mess that you was in before. All I know is we got to pray for him because last I heard they <laughs> last I heard they were still locked up. I don't know if this is true or not, but they was locked up and uh what is the name of this county? I don't know if y'all know the name of this county. I ain't never heard of this county before. It's called Coweta, C-O-W-E-T-A, Coweta County, honey. Ooh, that sounds like a real small town, <laughs> okay. Anyway, gun charges. Him and Antonio Allen was busted. Ugh. <sighs> Boy, I tell you, I don't know what to say about little Boosie. But we're just going to pray for him, keep him in our prayers, and hopefully by the time you see this video, he'll be he'll bonded out. Well, Boosie got money. I don't know about the other guy. But well, hopefully if he's his if he's, if he's, his friend and they friends, if he ain't got the money to get out, he'll bond them out, too. And they still got to go to court. He can get his ass somewhere to them. Boosie was just in trouble, what, back in 2019, 2009, for the same old thing. Mm -hmm. If they say second time around. <laughs> but Boosie, please get somewhere to sit down, you and your friend. And if y'all go smoke weed, don't be swerving. That's the best way to get yourself caught, swerving. And then you got a gun in the car. Oh, yeah, you asked to go to jail. <laughs> and Kuwait County. Oh, Jesus. Let's pray. All right, let's move on. Show me top five. This is going to be number three. Let's, I was going to talk. I was. I talked a little bit about this the other day, but I want to talk about this again. I told you guys about this movie that um, 
Taraji is going to be do, uh, starring in. It's called The Best of Enemies. This movie is basically, uh, it's a true story. It was a book first. I got more details on it. It was a book first, and now they're turning it into a movie. Oh, the movie's going to be A1. I'm talking about Taraji going to be no makeup, afro, ghetto. I mean, this movie is going to be a one, and I can't wait till it comes out. It's about um, the struggle back in Durham, North Carolina, when they were trying to uh, integrate the schools and stuff, and she was going against this Klansman. It's going to be one of them. Hopefully, she gets an Academy Award for this. This is going to be a good movie. So you, she's just she got a lot going on. You know, she got a lot going on. Empire. She got the what's it? The, what's that other movie? She. She, uh, Tina, that I forgot the name of it. She got a lot going on. So, congratulations to, to, to Roger. And as soon as I get the date, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. I know I should have the date, but as soon as I get the date, I promise you guys, I promise you, I will give you all the date. All right, let's move on. And this is going to be Showbiz Top 5. Number 2, Law. we got to pray for Terrence Howard. <laughs> I thought, I thought Jesse was the only one that was in some trouble. Well, let me give you the latest on Terrence Howard. Seems to never stop with these people in this, the IRS and the taxes and stuff. You know, you would think after uh, Wesley Snipes, Sheila Noxima, <laughs> they will learn their lesson. You can't play with the, the IRS, the government, when it comes to the coins. Well, here's the latest with uh, <laughs> Empire star Terrence Howard. We have to pray for him, honey. He's facing tax, tax problems, issues with the IRS, the state of California. Shout out to all the people in L.A. Uh, well, it's been reported that he owes $143,000 in unpaid taxes from 2010. Jesus. Damn. Mm hmm Plus interest and, of course, you know, they, they charge on the penalties and stuff for not paying on time. Listen, you can't, listen, Terrence Howard, I don't know what you got going over there. I don't know if you're trying to console Jesse or not. <laughs> But Jesse's going to be fine. You need to pay these damn taxes, allegedly, if this is true. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you know, you, you make it all. I said, here's the deal. Now, you're making this money. What are you doing with the money that you're making? Are you, are you trying to pay taxes on that too? Maybe you need to find somebody that can help you with your taxes because you can't be messing around and playing around with your taxes. Uh-uh, baby. That's, that's, not, that's not cute. Mm -mm. You have to end up in, you end up in jail like Bill Cosby. And like where they want to put your co-star, but they weren't able to put him in there. <laughs> anyway. So we're going to pray for Terrence Howard, child. I don't know if this is true. It's all alleged. Well, all I know is you better pay up because, baby, the IRS does not play. All right. Let's go to Showbiz Top 5. This is going to be number one. And... I, I I saw this uh, on Yahoo, and I never knew this. I'm like, where the hell have I been? I didn't know that Dwayne Wade had a gay son. That he's, you know, that that that, that he's uh, raising with um, Gabriel Union. I had no idea. I didn't know. I don't know where the hell I've been, but everybody like, PT, you didn't know that? Mm -mm, I didn't know that. Maybe I knew it and, and forgot, whatever. Because to me, it's not a big deal. But when it's a big deal... It's when I hear people say mean and nasty things. Let me tell you what. Okay. PT, did you know you was gay at 11? Yes, I do. But it's, see, a lot of you guys are thinking it's a sexual thing at 10 and 11. No, it wasn't the sexual part of being gay. I knew exactly what I wanted, but I didn't know what I wanted at 11 as far as intercourse and all that kind of, No, I wasn't into that. But I knew that I was different. And... I want to say something to all of you guys out there, and I want y'all to listen to me well and listen to me well. You got to be careful what you say about somebody that's gay and that's, whether they're older or younger. You have to be careful. My son ain't going to never be gay. My, my daughter, you don't know what your kid's doing behind closed doors. You do not know. Mm -mm. And, you know, my, my mother used to tell me all the time, shout out to my mama secretly watching. <laughs> they say you gay. Well, if I am gay, I, well, back then you wasn't gay. You was a punk. Yeah, as they say in New Orleans, a punk. You was a punk. And back then, and like I tell my mama, if I'm gay, then there's got to be other gay people too. You understand what I'm saying? I knew at a very young age that I was different. And 
I, 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 a lot of people cringe up and they say, I saw, saw a lot of nasty comments like, oh, you ought to be shamed. I know he's shaming his son. You, you, you got to be careful what you say about other people because it'll come back on you. Oh, my son ain't gay. Like I say, you don't know what your son or your daughter's doing behind closed doors. You don't know. And listen, just because the Wayne Wade's son is feminine and walking around and twirling and doing all these type of things. By the way, they were hanging out. Uh, he took him to Gay Pride in Miami. Of course, they're from Miami, so you know that's what. And by the way, June—it's usually June—is the month of Gay Pride weekend. And what that means is, way back in the '60s, guys, um, there were some things that happened. It was called Stonewall. You need to read up on Stonewall. I told you guys about this before, where they raided this club in New York, and then the club is actually still there. It was a bar. Matter of fact, oh, President Obama made it a national. Uh, Monument, historic, historic monument, part. So it's it, this happened in June, and uh, and so I'm surprised. I didn't know that they had the pride this early. So it's just a celebration. He was there, and he posted it on his Instagram, and he said that he's there to support his son. He's there to support his son. And listen, 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 listen. You when you when you when you. To find out your daughter or your son is gay and you push them away, you're only making it worse. You know, I know it's hard. Of course, nobody wants their son to be gay or, or you don't want your son to be a drug dealer. You don't want your son to be a child molester. You don't want your son to be a rapist. You don't want your son to be any of that. You don't. Of course, I should have put child molester in with that, but I'm just saying, we don't determine on what our children are going to be and what they, you know, who they're going to be in life. We don't. And 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 if your son or your daughter is doing not doing what you want them to do in life, if they ain't hurt nobody, you just got to put your arms around them and you have to love them. And that's what Dwayne Wade is doing and Gabriel. And people say, well, I want it deep down on the inside. But deep down on the inside, of course, a man wants his son to have kids. And, you know, well, I'm not saying that a gay man can't because there's a lot of gay men who have children. But, of course, it's just... It's just something that people want as a straight a straight people. You want your son to be straight. You want him to have kids and a wife. But listen, you can be straight and have kids and wife and have just as many issues as being gay. How many of y'all know that just because you're straight, that don't mean that you're not going to have problems and issues. Just because sometimes the son might marry some old crazy wench that you don't like. You know what I'm saying? And she got... She had had all these babies by your son, and yet they, now they can't stand each other, and you can't stand her. Mm-hmm. And then you may have a son that grow up, and he may be a hoe and have about 20 kids strolled all over the nation. Then you be wishing, oh, damn, I wish my son was gay, <laughs> but I ain't got to deal with all these damn kids, you know? So I just say, put your arms around your children if they're gay. I know you don't understand it. I know it's different, but you just have to, you just listen. You can't. You cannot. You cannot. No matter what your child is, you cannot throw them away because they're gonna remember it when they get older. Let me tell y'all a story. And and I'm not gonna be long with this story. I just want to tell you. When I was young, I think I told you guys this story before. Um, there there was an incident going on with me when I was young. No, I wasn't molested, but I was a hot little something. <laughs> and I got into some trouble, and I had to go to a private school. And all because of a lie that someone said about me. And the lie was just a lie. It was a big made-up lie, and it caused a lot of friction in my family. And... I, I, I understand how my mom and my dad felt at the time because you're talking about the well, late 60s, well, the 70s. You, they didn't understand what was going on. It was not cool to be gay back then or homosexual or whatever. No, it wasn't cool. And it kind of put a, a, a strain on me and my mom and my family. And, you know, I was almost not giving away, but tried to, you know, find my father, which, you know, that didn't happen, thank God, um, because I love my stepfather, and anyway, long story short, 
I'm glad that now my family and my mom and I, we love each other. I'm not saying that she loves the fact that I'm gay, but we grew up, I grew up, she grew up, and you know, we learned, we just learned to love each other. I don't, I don't throw it in her face and she doesn't ask me about it and she knows I do shows and she knows she loves me and she tells me every day on my birthday, son, I love you, I love you and I love you. And I'm sorry for what I did back then. I'm like, mom, you don't have to apologize for something. That was something that you, it was, it was all new to you. You understand what I'm saying? It was all new and it was all new to me too. But life goes on. So if you got somebody out there in your family that's gay, whether they were male or female, some of you ladies may be dealing with your husband that's gay right now. I know it's, you know, especially if they cheat on you, that's not good. Whether they cheat on you with a man or woman, it ain't good. But I can understand if it's another man, I do understand. But just try to, just try to not say put your arms around them, but try not to make it worse by, you know, being mean toward one another, talking crazy to one another trying to fight each other and all that kind of stuff. Just try your best to just try to make it work. Not as a couple, but just try to try to glue, especially if you have because your kids are gonna always remember what you talked about, how you uh, what you went through. They see that kids see that stuff. They're not stupid. Kids are very smart. And and they come out young, eleven years old. So that means if Dwayne's son is eleven I tell y'all, I keep telling y'all, y'all don't have to believe it, but I really believe I was born gay. That's just my feelings. Okay. All right, guys, you guys take care. Glad you guys tune in today. Of course, again, it's Tuesday. You guys have a great, great Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in. Please send me an email at ptshowbizstop5 at gmail.com. And also, if you would like to um, could support my show, you got to please hit the like button. Child, don't be playing with me. Hit the damn like button. Go down below, hit the Cash App and the PayPal button. If you would like a PT Showbiz Top 5 shirt, the black shirts are uh, $30 and the white shirts are $20, okay? So uh, hit me up and let me know what's going on. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys here on tomorrow. This is breaking news. <laughs> you never know. You guys take care. See you soon. Bye.